Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. My fellow Americans, uh, we live in very dangerous times. We have a bunch of um, people who do not uh, work in our interest, and that is the US government, it seems like, and not only in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, you see the same uh, kind of uh, allegiance not for the United States of America. Don't fall for it. Ukraine is not vital to the US interest. Israel is not vital to the US interest. Romania is not vital. United States is vital for the US interest. So we had this idiot called uh, Joe Biden who is barely conscious and I think he's dangerous. And if he's not all there, people behind him are dangerous and they will drag us into terrorist attacks that I suspect will occur because of our intervention again, where we don't belong. Don't belong. So let me show you this idiot article. Joe Biden came in front of the cameras this evening and he made some statements, idiotic as uh, we are used to, and he's telling us that actually, let me show you here, he says that, uh, right, the success, America's success of Israel and Ukraine is vital for American security. Uh, well, let me tell you this. Hey, what's going on? You showed up now again. Uh, he didn't come and say that Ukraine, you know, the conflict in Ukraine is vital. Now he says Israel and Ukraine. That tells me that Israel's uh, uh, success is vital to vital to American security. No, I don't think it is. Uh, so the president sought to link the two conflicts, telling Americans that the success of Israel and Ukraine is vital for American security. No, it's not. If tomorrow these two countries don't exist, uh, United States will still be alive and well. Remember what vital means? Vital comes from vital. Vital comes from, if I remember, from life. So uh, vital, if we don't uh, uh, succeed, we, if they don't succeed over there, then we somehow die? How? How? How is that possible? Well, I don't believe that, my friends. Uh, I don't believe either. And believe me, here, they just used, they just used they lump them together, Ukraine and Israel. So let's say you have point A. When point A happens, you don't come and say if point A disappears is vital to our security. But when point B shows up, you don't say only point B. You add it to the point A and say, hey, these two are vital. No, the first one was not vital until the second one showed up. So they tried to link them instead of saying now they can't really come and say actually Israel is that what matters. Uh, Ukraine can fuck off now. They will not say that now. Okay, so they, they lumped them together. But before Israel was attacked by that group, by that group, uh, it was not vital for American security. What makes it vital? The newcomer. You can just get the fuck out of uh, 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 Ukraine. We got these guys to take care of. Now, what does that mean? It says here, the address followed Biden's whirlwind trip, trip to Tel Aviv, where he reiterated the United States' support for Israel, but warned Israelis not to make the same mistakes the U.S. did following the 9-11 attack. This is blah, 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 blah. He said that we, United States, I'm part of the United States, we will always be, always, forever, be on the side of Israel and with Israel. I didn't vow anything for uh, any allegiance to Israel. Why do you say that? Oh, if I don't, I'm a bad person? Fuck off. Okay? All right, now that I said that, uh, let me just show you this. All right, here it says, not to make the same mistakes. Words, my friends, words. So, President Biden, thank you very much. Now we know. And they want money. They want about one one hundred billion dollars to send over there. Again, Israel. Where updates? Biden addresses U.S. in a rare uh, Oval Office. My friends, Israel is not important. 
Romania is not important. France is not important. United States is important. For the Romanians, Romania is important. For the Israelis, Israel is important. For Ukrainians, Ukraine is important. For the Russians, Russia is important. I mean, uh, if you tell me that it's a vital, what was that? Security? V vital for American security. Israel? Why? You have bases in Saudi Arabia? You don't have them anymore? You pro why do you need why do you need Israel when you can bring all your little things over there? Israel is just a piece of land surrounded by everybody else who would just do this good or bad however you wanna you wanna look at it I don't care about it just imagine that these guys brought over there all their or not all they will bring in the navy in the Mediterranean and will just wage war from there they can obliterate the whole Middle East if they want. Uh, with the exception probably of um, Iran. Everybody else would be just turned into rubble if they want, the Americans. You tell me that Israel, that these guys, if Iran once closes its eyes and just flattens it if he wants with all its rockets and missiles. No, I, I refuse to be dragged in someone else's interest. I refuse to say that and, and be allowed to be fooled, buffaloed by this idiot with his bunch of I almost could call them criminals, lumping us and uh, vouching for those guys with our lives and our... Because you know what's going to happen? This is what I foresee happening. They will have consequences, all this garbage. And you and I will be hit by the consequences. Not Biden. He's, di he's dying. He's on his way out. He doesn't give a fuck whatever happens after he dies. Right? You know what I mean? He's what? 1,000 years old. And the people around him, they're not going to be hit. We're going to be hit. We. And then don't tell me, don't give me that, oh, they hate our freedoms. No. They hate, they, hate, they hate us. Us. Us, unfortunately, because if you look at it by extension, we voted for those guys. They are our representatives who supposedly, in our great democracy, they represent us. So it's either this is not a fair democracy, it's a skewed democracy, therefore those guys don't represent us, or they represent us, and that means that if they do what they do over there, do it in our name. Which one is it? So if democracy works just fine, that means that those guys over there saying what they do, what they say, and getting involved over there, and the consequences will hit us back, we say, well, yeah, because we agreed with the elected officials. Now, if we didn't agree with the elected officials, that means those guys don't represent you. They represent the name of the country, but not your desire. No problem. You're going to be hit anyway. Why? Because those guys will not look, hey, how did you vote? Let me see. The terrorists don't look like that. Or the people who will hit us back. They will hit us back. They will hit us back. That's my prediction. And then you know what these guys are going to say? They uh, hate our freedoms and now we always stay with Israel. Okay, no, it's all right. We're going to be destroyed. Those guys are going to be destroyed in the name of... I don't know. Whatever, my friends. This is the way it is. I'm, I don't want to be dragged in anything else, in anything that I don't believe in. Right? And I think these guys right here are just dragging us in something that has nothing to do with us, with our security, with our interest. Well, that's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Remember, you fuckers who vote for, for those idiots. Remember, that's on you. I'm going to play now like uh, with Jesus Christ and with the pilot. Let uh, his blood be on us and our children. Yeah, let that be on you. On you. To the seventh generation. So we can play it in the um, uh, Judaic law. Shall we? I mean, let's go all, all in if we just uh, uh, play like idiots. Where is Trump? How many wars did he get us into? That guy, that crazy guy, the racist, the blah, blah, blah. Where is he at? How many wars? Yeah, Ukraine war? In this What's next? <laughs> Are we going to be attacked by the Russians? Boom. The only thing that's missing here is a nuclear bomb. That's the only thing. This is the only thing that's missing. Everything else is there. Americans shoot uh, uh, missiles coming from Yemen, supposedly towards Israel, defending Israel with our navy. What's going, what's going on? There are our allies. Well, I understand there are our allies, but uh, no, this support has consequences. Are you willing to give up your life or give your life away for that? I am not.
Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing, because I'm outvoted in the democratic system of United States of America by those guys. This is your consequence. Why I see, I saw through this, and other like me saw through this. You didn't. You were like, yeah, vote for Biden. He's like a grandfather figure. Really? Look what's going on. And if you think that he reacts to other bad people's action, well, history did not stop on the 7th of October. Okay? History did not start on the 24th of February 2022. Alright? So, look back and chronologically, and you're going to realize who the fuck pushed things around. I remember when I, uh, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, told me that the American people, elect the American electorate is uh, sophisticated, is different. And it was during uh, then President Barack Obama's presidency. And I asked him, yeah, they are so sophisticated that they voted two times for Barack Obama. And blah, 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 blah. He, he was not a Democrat, he is a Republican. But we're talking about something else. We're talking about who has the power on this in this country. And he was talking about that the civilians have the power. And I said, no, the military has the power. Who has the guns has the power, not the blah, blah, blah. Because you can look, you have to look who can potentially destroy the other side. The politicians, how are they going to destroy the military? Only with guns. They're going to go and arrest the general. How? How are they going to enforce it? Someone with guns. The military has bigger, bigger and more numerous guns than these politicians. Oh, do you think it's a, a South American junta? Yes, because we're human. Oh, and then he said, oh, the American electorate is more sophisticated. And I said, yeah, they voted two, time, two times for Barack Obama. They voted two times for the idiot Bush. What the fuck are you talking about? And then Biden and so on. So, you know, however you want to you wanna twist it and turn it, we either have something to say in our de democracy, democratic system of electing uh, officials to represent us. And if we believe in that, that means we agree or you guys agree with whatever you voted. And it's on you because you voted. I'm outside. I don't participate. That's not my guy. It's your guy. So everything that he does, it's on you. I mean, you, you have to or you say, well, I was wrong. And when, if you're wrong, what are the consequences? You know, because if you make a mistake, you can say, well, I'm wrong. If you jump off a cliff and then you say, well, I thought I can fly, my bad. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to fly back on the cliff? No, you're going to go down and die. There are consequences. What are the consequences here? You're going to wait, what? For these idiots, this, this, I, I might say I'm almost criminal uh, uh, until they destroy us. Remember, things will happen on this country. We're going to go to like this. Well. That's all right. And then what's going to happen? Remember when they said that uh, Trump will institute, uh, what they say, martial law? And he's going to freeze and box, stop the parliament, the, the Senate, the House, they're going to be gone, he's going to be dictator. These guys will do it when? When those guys will retaliate to our <clears throat> uh, vital for American security garbage, when they're going to retaliate and it's going to hurt you and us, then these guys are going to say, we are at war. We've been attacked. Poor us. We are the victims because we are so small and everybody wants to beat us up. Which is, you know, from your real life, is the other way around. The big guy fucks up the little guys. Not the little guys fucks up the big guys. This is only in, in stories, you know, like uh, uh, David and Goliath. Those are stories, okay? That's blah, blah, blah. You believe, oh, we are weak, but we're going to wheel. We're going to win. We're going to inherit the heaven. We're going to be on top of you when we get over there. Okay, in real life so far, you should stay where you are. Weak. You're weak, stay there. Yeah, but when I'm going to go there, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be on top of you. Because, why? Because I'm a victim. <laughs> Good, go there. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's alright, my friends. It's alright. What can we do? We can just go and vote. <laughs> Holy moly macaroni. Thank you very much. I, I would like to leave you in a uh, more positive note somehow, but uh, trying to make it a little bit positive here would be delusional, would be lying, would be... I really can't. I really can't. And uh, mark my words, 
I said the things, they will, they will happen. I don't see it, why not? It's just an order. The things are in place. I guarantee you there are cells in the United States of America that have not only the people, they have the material. They wait, they wait for an order. We'll, we'll, we'll meet you, we'll meet you soon here. And uh, you're gonna see uh, when I'm gonna tell you, I told you so, but it's gonna be too late. And nobody will be punished out there. Remember when Condoleezza, Condoleezza writes and those guys uh, with September 11 dropped the ball big time? Nobody was punished. Nobody! Nobody! How is that possible? You go at work and you screw up as big as these guys did on September 11 and you tell me if you're gonna have your, a job. No. It tells you those guys over there are all talked. We here, we're like worms. <laughs> When a carcass, you know, we fight with one another to get the food. And they're over there, you know, looking at us and counting the money and uh, creating garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.